you've arrived at Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. Is that relevant, Bagley? It is if you're his cousin. Anyway, have a seat. I'll notify Malik you've arrived. to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No, I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day, and I don't think I can beat her. Maybe you can, but I can. The name, Malik. All right. I'm trusting you with this. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of SIRS Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. Friend? Well, now she's the enemy. Wait. Wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, You'll have her and Zero Day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. I'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of SARS fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. If we tread too carefully, she will leave us in the dust. We'll do our due diligence, but I am not slowing down. Okay, I can live with that. So how do we find her? Let's start with the dossiers. Bagley, filter by child's direct reports and start listening in. With luck, they'll lead us right to her. Done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and blab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead sec. Really scare the shit out of them. Emma Child is the head of SIRS Counter-Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So, if we were to break in and leave a message that we know will get back to her... Works for me. Let's go. That is the old MI6 building, one of the most prominent intelligence organizations in the world. But now, thanks to SIRS taking over, the dark heart of every secret scheme and bloody coup in the whole of Europe. So, no huge difference, really. What the hell am I walking into here? Bagley, don't scare him. You just have to find the central server room and connect us. We'll do the rest. You've got this.
That's the case file server there. Connect badly and we'll take care of it. Got it. <laughs> Quick mission update, but you have to promise not to be mad out with it, Bagley. Well, since you didn't promise, I can't give you the details, but suffice to say, there's an absolute piss monsoon of Albion goons heading your way. I'm just glad we're on the same side. Next step is to get out of there with your ass attacked. We'll let you know when we back.
All right, let's do this. All you need to here. suspect or suspects reporting in your location. I'm in pursuit of the target. Officer in critical condition. Critical. Over. Unsighted sweeping area. Look at that. Your plan works. There's more buzz coming from Emma Chard's organization than a nest of randy wasps. That was fast. Well, I may have sent everyone in Chard's inner circle security footage of your little MI6 operation, just to speed things up a bit. Is that safe? No, not really. But then you're a violent insurgent who runs around in a colorful mask punching mercenaries, stealing top secret intelligence and driving through street cafes. Define safe. Touche. So, what's the plan? A small group is meeting with Emma Child in a parking garage. They've switched off the CCTV cameras, but if you connect me to the building's CTOS hub, I can switch them back on, because I'm very clever. That's our move, then. of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. Hello, Resistance fans. You're listening to the Bunk Podcast, the objective voice of objection for this moment. Reminder, this is the parking garage where Emma Child is meeting with her inner circle. Malik has asked that you confirm she really is in charge of Zero Day before we do anything. So try and hack the camera system to see if we can get a look at that meeting. I heard something over there.
It's too much of a coincidence. He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Whitworth assets on standby, Mrs. Child. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like horseshit. We do have a supporting theory, Mum. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, here's what we're gonna do. Reallocate all resources to the DedSec file. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. He had his chance. I'm moving in. Shit, you're right. Go. This might be our only chance. Emma Child has opened a secure optic link to the Home Secretary. If you really want to clear your names for the bombings, this may be your chance to gather the evidence. Get close to the car and I can hack in. In our well-boarded beds, 4,000 illegals were deported. Last month, these illegal people breaking the law just... Plugging you into Emma Child's com. Try to drive casually. This is Director Child coding in. Kilo Alpha Kilo 711. Code and voice print confirmed. You're on a secure line to the Home Office, Director. Hold on, Mr. Secretary. I seem to have a communications anomaly. Probably nothing, but let's switch channels to be safe. Well, that's annoying. Stay close and I'll see if I can get them back. very handy way to break up with a partner. Uh, We're reallocating resources to the DedSec file. Mr. Secretary, I wanted to bring this up directly because of the recent incident with your liaison to the service. Oh. Oh, God. You think that was DedSec? I thought we'd chalk that up to your problem, child. That, uh, what, Malik, was it? Yes. That's the sensitive bit, Mr. Secretary. There's new evidence that suggests Malik may be working with DedSec. For fuck's sake, Emma, this is a disaster. It's under control. It's, it's shit. Sorry, Tom, but we have to switch channels again. One moment. Ooh, it seems this conspiracy goes all the way to the top. Or close to it, anyway. Stay nearby, we've almost got it. ...to as unpleasant as possible, so... Uh... Well, we absolutely are doing that, Andy. Well, you know, fair play to the government for, for, for helping us with that. Uh, <laughs> another option, extend the White Cliffs of Dover. They've been resting on their laurels for too long. Very inefficient, it turns out, as a means of stopping immigration. We need to extend them by about another 11,000 miles, a full wrap around Great Britain. And they could do it with being about a kilometre and a half higher as well, with a special greasy coating that's got people clambering over the top or however they get it. Uh, here's a quick joke for you, Alice. But <laughs> did you hear the one about the woman who went into the immigration processing centre and was ever seen again? No, Andy, I didn't hear that one. Boom. Set up. Punchline. <laughs> For those of you uh, unfamiliar with the Immigration Processing Centre, is of course where so many of our, our guests to Britain uh, go for a longer than desirable game. And just how exactly is any of this under control, Emma? Because one of them is currently hacking into my car's comm. That's where those anomalies are coming from. You sound suspiciously calm about that. This isn't my first day, Tom. I'm not in the car. 
It's a decoy. But it does have an active beacon that's calling Albion down right on top of them as we speak. I'll have one of them in custody within an hour. That was me disconnecting this time. You had better run. This is probably a good thing, because British fire... I have Malik for you. I'm going underground. I can't risk direct contact anymore. Hey, you heard her. She's trying to kill you. What more proof do you need? I did hear her. She knows I'm working with you, which means she's closer than I thought. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Goodbye. Well, they've arrested those German spies in that SERS crackdown on the illegals in Hackney, and I think that's... I really hate that guy. Fuck him. We know who's behind Zero Day now. We don't need him. We just have to find her. As it happens, when I was getting intimate with the MI6 server, I came across a list of SIRS safe houses scattered throughout the city. There are quite a few, though. We can narrow the field with the data we have on Child's lackeys. Cross-reference their movements against the list, see where they've been before. Brilliant. Prioritize them by likelihood, Bags. Let's get this bitch. There's a potential recruit you may want to check out. Pushing your location. Child's hideout. Poke around to see if you can find a clue. Fine, I'm on it. Be sorry, everyone, but one of your teammates has been kidnapped. What the fuck? 
Saz has got to be behind this. That was way too clever for Albion acting on their own. The question's why. Well, they're being tortured for information about Malik, of course. I thought that was obvious when we saw that meeting where Emma Child said, and I'm paraphrasing, kidnap someone and torture them for information about Malik. That's it? Fuck. We have to find Malik. Bags, there's got to be some way to get him a signal. Sure, I've marked a location for you. In his eagerness to leave in a huff, Malik failed to encrypt his last message. It was almost too easy to trace it back to his safe house. Get to the point. Malik has a stick so far up his ass it controls his thoughts. By now, he'll have noticed his error and moved. But there's no way he isn't monitoring that safe house computer. If we use it to send a message like, return our calls or we tell child everything, I'm sure the stick will compel him to listen. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. You've got to help me! All our officers are busy at the moment. We'll have someone with you as soon as possible. No! No! They're in the house! The police do a great job, but there's never enough funding to go around. That's why we're here to offer an alternative. This is Albion Security. Put down your weapons or face lethal force. Albion. We're ready to keep... Malik's safe house is somewhere around here, but it will be well hidden. Maybe have a look for a slightly off-color brick or an inconspicuous lever. You want me to bring the hammer down? That's awesome! Lever does look a bit dodgy, doesn't it? This won't. Oh. Oh. Uh, Bagley, use some advice here. Right. 
team's managed to make some upgrades to security. And since he's both a security expert and a paranoid lunatic, I don't know if you can handle this one. Well, I can. Haha! <laughs> Did you like that? With the drone? Pretty good, right? Good job, Bagley. Thank you. Look, if we know anything about Manic, it's that he thinks he's much cleverer than he is. Which means as soon as I start, some drones or something are gonna come after me. So just watch my back, all right? I'm all over it. Ha! Drone bays. I knew it. Oh, come on, Malik. Make it hard, at least. All that big talk and security drones is all you've got, you hack. Oh, I'm Malik, and I think I can analyze certain dossiers faster than Bagley, but my idea of heavy security is automated proxy jumping. Please. All right, you ready? Well, let's do it. Lovely jumpy. Really, Malik? Do you really think I'll be fooled by this? Thing? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll work out soon. Drones off me. Let's try this again. this time.
if I just flip this bit like that, inject this script over here, and voila! No, no, that did not work at all. Shit. You know, this will go a lot faster if you keep the drones off me. Let's try this again. Didn't you, Malik? That's actually pretty clever, but not cleverer than me. using the same cyber he used earlier, set to repeat every 15 seconds. Please, Good job, everybody. Now we just have to convince Malik to help us get our friend back. Sweet. And thank you. I know this is getting scary, but you're all brave as fuck. I'm proud to call you my friends. Encrypted source. Malik. It's Malik, isn't it? Put him on. You had better have a very good reason for threatening me, or this conversation will be very short. Look, man, Emma Child is one of our friends. She's probably employing enhanced interrogation techniques to find out about you. I see. As it happens, I have been keeping tabs on Emma. But I have a condition. The Semtex is still missing, and if I have any hope of recovering it, I need you to take Emma alive. Yeah, okay. Right then. SIRS uses construction sites to interrogate short-term arrests. They're isolated, and it's easy to hide bodies. And my sources tell me Emma just turned up at one. Uh, can we speed this along? If your operative hasn't turned already, that's probably where she'll have him. I got this. The longer your operative is in captivity, the longer Emma has to work on him. Find your friend before they talk and capture Emma. Good luck. The Buccaneer, this is the bow. Hello, resistors. Yeah. Yeah. This is the bow. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyse the latest blow flies to emerge from the courts of once free Britain. It's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're going to talk to you about Albion. Uh, your friend of mine, Alice. The government has extended Albion's contract. And have also not seen the violent crime. Plummeted to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract, to me, as we're having a pet dog. Control, we are pursuing the suspect. And attack you every single day and thinking to yourself, wouldn't it be nice to charge that like puppet? <laughs> that contract has been extended so many times, it's like the Nicola politician that's criticised the government. <laughs> I'm not sure I've lost sight of the target. Contract Over. extension negotiations went probably like, like, a, like a footballer. 
In the old days, I assume Albion's agent was leaking stories to the press about how our favourite private militia would be Search attacked. Search shielded, no Barcelona results. Report back to HQ. The government panics and thinks, well, we better get them signed up for the team, mate. But still, violent crime, a record low, although I imagine that probably depends exactly how you count it. If you include violent crime committed by the state, either themselves or via Albion, their chosen violent crime contractors, who provide such a very valuable part and service of beating people up, well, they're probably not quite as low as the figures suggest. I don't know. I, I think they're probably right. Who has the opportunity to commit violent crime these days anyway? The moment you pick up a fruit knife, you get tamed by a robot police and deported for looking Bulgarian. <laughs> It's a much more peaceful society. It's just much less of a society. I want to know the details of my Alice Millon. Are they paid per dissident duffed up? Is it is a set rate for each extrajudicial state mugging? And what is that rate? It certainly looks like they're trying to hit a quota of some kind. <laughs> but what is the, what is the set rate? Is it got 99.95 cryptos bargain? It seems very reasonable to do. <laughs> I, I imagine they don't ask too much anyway. Uh, because it's just so nice to get paid for doing your whole... Anyway, isn't it? I imagine it doesn't feel like work. I mean, who needs violent crime anymore anyway? You know, you can just start to... All citizens are advised to remain indoors during high-risk hours. Perhaps you should talk to them. I'm sure they will understand. Time for the big guns. And by gun, I mean hammer. I love a hands-on approach. This is the construction site where Malik thinks Emma Child is holding our operative, which checks out. Security is tighter than a rubber glove and a bowling ball. Gotcha. I have a call from... Strange? This isn't what... Stop! You fucking idiots! May I ask who's calling? Emma Child, Director of SIRS Counterterrorism. You are making a terrible error here. You cannot... Get off my voice channel! Apologies, everyone. Took a moment to work out how they hacked us. No worries, my dude. On the plus side, it seems Malik's lead was good. It's likely she'll keep our operative close to use as leverage. You should find him wherever you find child. Control, we are pursuing the suspect. Over. Lady Smash wants a kiss. Target is in the water. Over. I could have left a fucking bomb in there. Do you want to know why I didn't? Because you suck at this? Because we have something in common. Richard Malik stabbed both of us in the back. Watch. Albion's new policing contract has promised. Everything's set at your end. Oh, it will be. 
But first, you're going to tell me what this is really about. All right. I'm infiltrating a terrorist group called DeadSec. I'm setting up a meeting with them, and your men will capture me before DeadSec arrives. So it has to look real. They can't know it's a setup. <sighs> you are a piece of work, Richard. What the hell are you getting out of this? Dead terrorists. I can't prove it yet, but I think Malik was involved in the bombings and the cover-up. What's more, I think he and his conspirators are planning to do it again. You said you were doing all that. I would. It's basic tradecraft. Want to sell a lie, weave it into the truth. And you think we're just going to trust you instead? I had something more transactional in mind. I have your operative. Help me kill Malik, and you get them back. That door will unlock in 30 seconds. Hang on. Do we think that this means Malik is the one in charge of Zero Day? Impossible to say for sure, but it does look that way. We do know for sure that he's trying to set us up for the next attack. You know how I feel, but this is risky. It has to be your call. Uh, do we have a choice? We want our friend back, and Malik wants to put bullets in our heads. Or worse. All right. So, what's our plan? If you're seriously asking how to kill Malik, I have ideas. A lot of ideas. No reason to complicate it. Get him in the open and shield the cunt. Yes, that would work, but it's not very much fun. Don't you want to poison him, at least? We haven't poisoned anybody yet. No, poison's boring. I vote bullet to the head. Noted. I'll contact Child and tell her DeadSec has agreed to help. Mason, what's our status in the Reporting to base. Incident under control. I have Malik for you. Remember you want to convince him to meet you somewhere public so we can install some air cooling in his skull. Everybody, be cool. I've got this. Do you have ever child? Yeah, about that. It's a, it's a funny story, actually. What happened? I don't know, man. She was expecting us. Someone must have blabbed to her. Anyway, uh, we should meet up. How does Piccadilly sound? No, no. Uh, Piccadilly's crawling with Albion. How about Trafalgar Square? How does that sound to you, Bagley? Trafalgar Square is optimal. Good, it's decided. I'll see you soon. He's disconnected. Nailed it. Now let's get Child on the horn. Time to save our butt. Capital. Yes. What? We're good to go. Bagley can fill you in. Now give us our friend back. You can have them when Richard is dead. Okay, uh, counteroffer. You kiss my ass, then you give us our friend back, or we walk. Fine. As a show of trust, I'll order a hot drop at a random location. I will not, however, waste anyone covering them. So get there fast if you want them back in one piece. I wonder what Marcus is up to right now. <laughs> <laughs> 